Hey, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm Jimmy GGS91 here and be welcome to my 100% walkthrough of Doom 2 Heaven Earth for the PC. Play it through the Doomsday Engine Source Port on Ultra Violence difficulty. This video is the gameplay of the last and final map of Doom 2, that is map 30, Icon of Sin. Let's finish this game and this walkthrough once and for all, shall we? Alright, so let's start the last map of Doom 2. As you can see, we have every weapon of the game. Including a Megasphere, and some ammo, some shells, some bullets, and some plasma. But look to this, this is very ugly, hellish, but <laughs> we're in hell. Anyway, so let's go through this teleporter with those desperate faces and see what is the final boss of this game. Or who is, actually. So, let's go. That's the final boss of the game, the Bathman, also known as the Icon of Sin. Actually, this final boss is known for many names. So basically, what you have to do is to go down and lower all of those elevators with the Bathman faces. Yes, the Bathmet will uh, spawn a lot of enemies through these platforms. And be careful, you can be telefragged if you're not careful. And you have to flip that switch at the top of those platforms to raise that pillar. So now we can kill on an archvile. Hello there. Be careful the archvile and panelamentos on this map, they are main concern. Alright, this thing is fully raised, so let's lower it, wait a little bit, let's fire a rocket there, and I missed, <laughs> let's take these goodies here, and repeat the process, go away Palamental, you are so annoying. Yeah, that's a very tedious process, especially if you have to deal with lost souls, or that kind of stuff. But oh well. So let's finish this! Find the exposed brain of the monster. And that's it, that's Icon of Sin. Not the very, let's say, right way to kill it because of the free look, but yeah, that's the map. And we got those, uh, that very high kill percentage because only the Icon of Sin, the Bathman, counts as the monster kill. The extras, the panelamentals, all of those freaky monsters that were, were spawning all the time counts as extra kills. But to some people that I that uh, will think, no, you didn't do this battle right. I redo this battle only one time on Z Doom, where you don't have the free look, you have to do this actually the way uh, ID software intended to do this battle. So, wait a second, I'll fire Z Doom here a little bit and I'll be back. So, see you there. Alright, so here we are at Z Doom. So, let's do the same thing again. But this time I'll show the, uh, the right way, or the intended way, to defeat the Bathmet or Icon of Sin, whatever. My gameplay is basically the same thing, the only thing is it's kinda harder to do this time, you'll see how. So once again, we have to dispose of that Revenant. I'd like to use the Plasma Gun for that. Okay. So let's take the Soul Sphere, and I hear a pan of Metal. Let's dispose of him right away. Or he puts me into more trouble. Okay, let's move the switch, let those guys dream fight, and hello, lost soul. There's another one. I need to kill those lost souls before, because the lost souls can ruin your day here, make you eat a rocket, basically. Let's go over this, over this platform and wait a little bit. 
Hello, Revenant. Hello, Panamato. Again. I'm taking some damage, but that's okay. Now let's do this. Now the thing here with Zidane is because you can't aim properly at the brain of the monster, so you have to do a little trick to try to find the right spot. I usually wait until, from my point of view, the tip of the rocket launcher reach the chin of the monster, basically, and then I aim and fire. See? It's a more tedious way of battle, and go away, you freaking monster souls. You're so annoying. Let's wait a little bit. Fire BFD shot! Another one to clear the way a little bit and go away, your demon. And boom! That's the right way to defeat the monster here on Z Doom based Source Sports. With no free luck. So people can come play now. But yeah, that's a hell of a battle. Anyway, I have some uh, things to show up before I end the walkthrough and show the ending of the game, so... Wait once one more time because I'll go back to Doomsday and show what is actually the final boss of Doom, the Bathomet. So, see you there back in Doomsday. Okay, so here we are at Doomsday again, so let's grab all the things. And this time I'll turn the God Mode cheat, that is IDDQD, the Delta Q Delta, like John Romero said. And let's go through the teleporter and see what's actually the final boss of this game. So I'll turn ID Clip, and we'll go to the inside the brain of the monster, yes. And what's that? A head? Pinching on a spike? Well, that's not an ordinary head, that's John Romero's head. Remember the name? John Romero? Yep. One of the guys, one of the four guys that were part of the former team of ID Software. Yep. He programmed Wolfenstein 3D, Doom, and this game, Doom 2. And the background story behind this kind of joke here, yeah, that's a joke. It's very funny. Let me turn off ID clip. Actually, I don't remember uh, who I think John Carmack or Adrian Carmack uh, put John Romero's head here as a joke, uh, thinking he was he would not uh, find this. But actually, John Romero found this, and for more funny that it sounds, he decided to maintain this here and more. He did another thing. Remember that very demonic uh, message that the Bathomet says to you when you enter the map here? Actually, there's some background story on that. That is a playback recorded by Joe Romero himself with his voice. Of course, they do some kind of change on the pitch to sound very demonic and hellish. But uh, that message is actually recorded backwards. What that thing says, actually, it says something like that. To win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. And what we did when he killed the Bathman, we killed John Romero because look at it here. Yep, <laughs> we actually hurt the monster. That this thing is very uh, weak. Since the uh, John Romero actually is killed by the splash damage of the rockets that go inside the brain of the monster through here. So yeah, it's very funny. It's very cool in my opinion, this very cool easter egg with John Romero's hat on a spike, that's actually what you defeat. And that's it, that's how you defeat the monster using the cheat mode. <laughs> that's very very funny in my opinion and very clever. John Romero's hat, and he himself says, of course, in a backwards playback, to win the game you must kill me, John Romero. So that's it. Anyway, I think that's all that I want to show about this final map, so let's go to the final mess of the game and end this walkthrough once and for all.
the horrendous visage of the biggest demon you've ever seen crumbles before you. After you pump your rockets into, into his exposed brain, the monster shrivels up and die. Its thrashing limbs devastating untold miles of hell's surface. You've done it. The evasion is over. Earth is saved. Hell is a wreck. You wonder where bad folks will go when they die now. Wiping the sweat from your forehead, you begin the long track back home. Rebuilding Earth out to be a lot more fun than Rooney it was. Sure it is. And here's the final cast of monsters of the game with the Baphomet face at the background. Starting with the zombie man. Here's the shotgun guy. Also known as shotgunner. The heavy weapon dude. More known as the chain gunner. The imp or a lovely imp. The demon, these pinky monsters. There's some annoying lost soul that I hate so much, go away. The Kaka Demon, one of the most lovely demons here of this game. I don't wanna push you up those things. <laughs> the Hell Knight, very tough monster, not so tough. The Barrel of Hell, the tough version of the uh, Hell Knight. The Arachnotron, that is not related to the Spider Mastermind, believe it or not. The Palamental that I hate so much because this thing spawns lost souls. The Revenant, this very annoying monster with his hit seeking rockets. The Mancubus, the fat version of the imp in my opinion. The Archvile, one of the most dangerous monsters here because what he does. The Spider Mastermind, one of the bosses of the uh, original Doom. And the most tough gladiator here, the Cyber Demon. And here's our hero, Doom Guy, that defeated Hell one more time. So, yep, yeah, that's the end of this walkthrough, that's the end of this game. So, yeah, it was a very, very long ride, isn't it? Well, what I have to say about Doom 2? Well, this game is awesome. I personally prefer Ultimate Doom over Doom 2, but. This game with the super shotgun, uh, the new power-ups, the new enemies, this game is very, very good. If you've never played Doom 2 before, go and play it. If you've never played one of the original Doom games, or either of those old classic Doom games, go and play those. Those games are the precursors of the first-person shooter genre. Like I said before, at the end of my Ultimate Doom walkthrough, these four games, for me, in my opinion, are the main games that are of the first-person shooter genre. That is Wolfenstein 3D, the classic new, Gonna 9 Double 7 64, and Half-Life. Those games, if they, they didn't exist, we would not see first-person shooters games as we see them now. Alright, uh, I had a lot of fun playing this game again, this game is very fun to play. I hope walkthrough was informing to you, that helped you some way, or if you're watching this just for fun, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. So for the likes, for the views, for the comments, thank you guys, I really appreciate. That means my stuff here that I'm doing here is being appreciated by you guys, so that's what skips me to move on doing my videos here and my next game well I don't want to say it right now I will take a little break here before I start my next game but it's a old-school platformer I hope you guys will like it it's actually, it's actually a sequel of a game that I did here on my channel a while ago it's a very very fun game a game that I like so much so I see you guys on my next game yep it's a surprise you see when I upload the first video so until next time, to the next game, to my next let's play, walkthrough, gameplay, whatever you want to call it. I'm Jimmy GGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.